Utah man is recovering from being shot during a duck hunt, but who pulled the trigger has everyone talking. They hope to open by January 1st, but will have a better idea if they can operate or not by December 1st. You saw smoke in the Bliss area today. Don't worry, it was a controlled burn. Many have been following the traumatic journey young Ellie Pruitt has encountered in her battle with T-cell lymphoblastoma. While his daughter moved to New Zealand for officer hunt, he makes the state penitentiary his new home. How about this combination? Buy a tree and support a good cause. Police say incidents like these don't happen too often here in the Magic Valley, but when they do, they impact the entire community. Black Friday this year is all about the deals. And as you can see from my shopping cart, Customers are loading up. Well, we might be in the middle of summer, but ski enthusiasts, listen up. And Michelle, I'm sure a lot of yeah. us would like it to be winter with those cooler temperatures. You know, this afternoon, some local kayakers down at Shoshone Falls got a scare of a lifetime. Earlier today, we caught up with Representative Stephen Harkin from Twin Falls County and Oahe County about what he feels are other important issues facing the legislature. So there are many studies diving into the topic of social media's presence in the workplace. Some employers actually allow usage, while others strictly prohibit employees from accessing their page. We spoke with local employers in part three of the social media breakdown. Here's a site many of us never see, firefighters during their downtime. Chef Burgess. He's making dinner for the crew as they're almost halfway through their 24-hour shift. Our employees, they're, um, they're on an engine crew, so there's um, three to four of them that are stationed together, and they're, they're constantly together on that engine when they're going and doing their assignment. Between 8 and 5, it's business hours, and they're staying busy. And they're truck checks, they're doing station maintenance, um, business inspections, public educations, training, uh, hose testing, just a number of different things they could be doing. Um, which keeps them busy as an engine company. After five, they can watch television and access computers, even jump on Facebook if they want. Yeah. Access my page after five, of course. Our IT department actually monitors that type of stuff, and they let us know if there's a, an abuse problem. A place where social media use isn't restricted to a time frame is at the College of Southern Idaho. We can't exactly restrict access uh, to them. And so, yes, you can get on Facebook and you can manage the pages. You can respond to requests and inquiries and so forth. If you log on to Facebook and search for College of Southern Idaho pages, you'll find a number of them. Departments utilize these pages to the fullest. We probably have at least a dozen entities at CSI that have their own Facebook account. A site that is blocked from CSI computers is Netflix. Probably because it was determined that there is no legitimate reason to get on Netflix. Mon says it's CSI policy to use the equipment for CSI related use. So as long as you're bettering the school in any way, go ahead and post that link, type that quote, and update the picture. Four to six inches of snow on the ground, the wind was blowing, it's a very wet snow and uh, would have been very easy conditions to get hypothermia in. Teams with search and rescue tried to saturate as much of the South Hills as possible. They scoured the area in search of 50-year-old Elmer Freeman and his son, 28-year-old Matthew Freeman. Hunters were last seen Thursday afternoon near Indian Springs, mm -hmm. and one of the last people to see them was Elmer's wife, Penny. They've got him there in good condition. <gasps> Okay. <laughs> but Penny wouldn't see them right away. That's because one of the search and rescue teams had walked about an hour and a half into the forest after parking their ATVs on Fifth Fork Road. Their hunch may have saved the lives of the local hunters. Other than the cramps, chest pain, shortness no. of breath, anything like that. Yes. Wet, wet and cold. Wet and cold. Let's get you dry, man. Okay. Oh, no. What were they doing when you found them? A little hunkered up under the trees trying to use their cell phones to get out. Did you know instantly it was them? I, I hollered and they hollered back. So they were pretty happy. It's all a good thing. <laughs> we then headed back down to the Incident Command Center near the Bear Gulch campground. The family was anxiously waiting. Everybody that's just came up here and has been so nice to my family. And my husband's gonna be really sorry. <laughs> and my son is going to be really sorry. For Penny Freeman, the last 24 hours proved to be an eternity. 
But now she can at least rest tonight knowing that her husband and son are both home safe. It's a busy day and you need to run into the post office to buy stamps or send a package. You park, might leave your car running and crack a window. I mean, it's almost 80 degrees outside. But you leave your one-year-old in the car unattended. Here's how one story unfolds for a local mother. I was in there for about a minute. I didn't think it would be too dangerous. Well, um, I was actually here for five minutes, so it was a little longer than a minute. But I don't know if you're aware of the fact that your car heats up really, really hot during this time of year. No, I wasn't. So like the, the temperatures that we've been having, the 95 degrees, it can actually heat up to about 124 degrees. I did not know this and I will never do this again. Paige Geske is a mom and works for Safe Kids Magic Valley. This isn't the first time she's approached a parent. Well, babies and younger children, they don't have the ability or knowledge to be able to cool their body down. So say on an 80 degree day, your car temperature can get up to 109 degrees within 20 minutes. And then that means your baby's body core temperature is actually 107 degrees. Even on a mild day like this one, when the outside temperature is 78 degrees, let's take this thermo scanner, put it in the car and see how high temperatures get in just five minutes. Our sensor starts off at 95.4 degrees, but then, our thermal sensor reads 108 degrees. That's after just five minutes. Imagine 20 minutes later how hot those temperatures will be for your child. I've gone out on several calls and, and waited with children at the car. Officer Luke Allen also educates parents not only in the dangers to the child. With the windows down, the circulation isn't so great inside those cars. But the legal ramifications to the parent. So anyone who does anything that puts their child in danger could be guilty of a crime of child endangerment. If they put their child in a situation where they could cause great bodily harm, which means permanent damage, scarring, then it becomes a felony. Would you rather save a minute not having to unbuckle your child or lose them forever? That's for you to decide.